In this After Effects tutorial, we will create a big title animation in After Effects without using any plugins. Now these type of motion graphic titles are very much trending these days and why not they look very modern and fresh and if you guys are looking for more such animation then you should check out Envato Elements because with their unlimited creative subscription you can download more than 54 million creative assets for just 16.5 USD a month that is almost like 17 bucks a month which i think is super awesome and on envato elements you can get stock videos motion graphic templates music tracks sound effects graphic templates fonts plugins and so much more i myself use envato elements for my personal as well as commercial projects so i definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check out envato elements the link is in the description below with that said let's jump into after effects and get started with today's tutorial Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080 full HD, 60 FPS. Now you can also go with 24 or 30 FPS if you want to. I just want to keep my animation very smooth looking. So that is why I will be going with 60 FPS. Let's call this render our, as our main render comp. 10 seconds long, hit OK. Let's hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid and I'm going to call this BG for background, hit OK. And white color is looking good for the background. Then I'm going to select my pen tool and we don't need any fill so I can click on the fill and make sure it's set to none, hit OK. And you can set the stroke with a bit high and for now I will be going with the darker black color as of now. And I'm going to create a small stroke by holding shift just like so. All right, there we have our first shape layer going to constants, shape, stroke, and then change the line cap from butt cap to rounded cap. So we get this really nice stroke and you can move the anchor point into the center by making sure the layer is selected, hold control and double click on the pan behind tool. Then I can increase the stroke size a bit like so. And that is fine so i'll move this a bit maybe something like that so this is kind of a shape that i want to go with all right maybe a bit big like 450 that looks good now we can go ahead and animate this so i'm going to zoom a bit in my timeline and then go into add click on the small icon that we have and let's add a trim path to this so in the trim path, I'm going to make some actually room right here so you, so you guys can see it more properly. So in the trim paths, I can animate the end property. But before that, let's animate the position of this also. Yeah, make sure the end, end amount is set to 1 so we get a perfect circle. All right. So now I'll go to around 2 seconds, create a keyframe on the position. So I can select the layer, hit shift P. So we can see all the properties along with the position property. Create a keyframe go back and let's pull this out of the frame like so so we have a simple animation like that then i'll move my time indicator at around one second and create a keyframe on the end property go to two second and 30 frames and set this to 100 all right so we have something like that but at the moment the animation looks very lame so to fix this there are two me two methods that i can do i can select all the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and then i want to create a peek into the center so i'll select these keyframes and try to adjust this placing them properly like so and it can get difficult as you can see quickly so i can actually first select this one let's tweak this and then we have to select this one and then tweak this as well so it's kind of a tedious process and this is the animation that i'm going for so a quick way to do this is using a free script that is keyframe wingman. You know, I genuinely use this script a lot. So it's a free script. I have mentioned the link in the description. You can download it. You can download it through animation composer. It comes along with this after you install the animation composer, you can find it under windows 
animation composer keyframe wingman it is absolutely free basically what the script does is if i select the points i can adjust my graph editor through the single handle so it saves us a lot of time i can even input my value so i want to go with 95 and boom there we go and now let's see an animation there we go that's the animation i wanted to go for pretty cool now i'm going to duplicate this hit control d to duplicate it hit u and let's get rid of all the keyframes i'm going to move this shape right over here let's bring down the size a bit like something like this big and also i can pull the shape a bit low so i can hit p let's move my time indicator here select the keyframes and pull this just like that all right now let's go ahead and animate this shape so first of all i'm gonna go into my trim parts property let's set this to 100 and set this to 99 all right then let's select this and create a keyframe on the position go back and pull this out of the frame like so so i'll move my time indicator at one second let's create a keyframe on the end property go to two seconds and 30 frames set this to all the way down to zero then i'll jump to one second and 15 frames create a keyframe on the start property go to two second and 45 frames and let's set this to one or oh, maybe 25 that looks good and select all the keyframes and click on this small button and basically we have the same graph animation to this layer as well and it looks pretty cool that's looking good now let's create our third shape so i can select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit u and get rid of all the keyframes pretty quick let's set this to and move this right over here let's adjust this accordingly so i'll jump into my trim parts and let's set this to one so we have a perfect circle and all i have to do is bring down the stroke size so it's a bit smaller like so maybe something around 150 should be fine all right i can select this i'll move this right here let's go to two seconds create a keyframe on the position of this so let's create a keyframe go back and this time i'm going to hold shift and pull this out of the frame like that so we have something like that then let's go to one second create a keyframe on the end property go to two seconds and 30 frames set this to all the way up to 100 then go to one second and 15 frames create a keyframe on the start property go to two seconds and 45 or uh, frames 45 frames and set this to let's go with something like 99 all right select the keyframes and apply the same animation so let's see what we have looking pretty nice now for the fourth one i'm going to duplicate the second layer so i'm going to hit ctrl d let's pull this out hit p let's move my time indicator here select the keyframes i'm going to pull this down like that and also i will be bring down the stroke size like so all right hit u and let's see what we have here so this time i'm going to get rid of the start property actually get rid of the keyframe from the start property and keep this all the way up to 100 so now we have this nice animation as you can see so it's looking pretty nice now we can go ahead and color this up so our base shape is ready so first of all let's select this go into effects and preset type in fill apply the fill and you can go with any color that you like i'm gonna go with a nice muted color like that looking good i can copy paste the color code if i want to hit ctrl c and then i want to create kind of a glow effect so to do that i won't be using the default glow i will be actually using a drop shadow that too in layer styles and the reason is because we can add noise in the layer styles drop shadow so i'm going to select the la layer right click layer styles and let's add where is it drop shadow all right let's go into the advanced drop shadow properties and we can pick with the same color if i want 
and also let's bring down the distance to zero and increase the spread or size sorry really high something like around 250 and bring down the opacity of this to around 50 percent so that is looking very nice i can copy the layer style hit ctrl c select the second shape hit ctrl v to paste that up i can also copy paste the fill so hit ctrl c select this ctrl v and for this one i will be going with a nice blue color like so and for the layer styles i can hit u two times and let's let's pick whip the same color so we have this really nice drop shadow glow and yes obviously i can add some noise so i can go here and add three percent of noise so we don't get any kind of color bending same i'm going to do for this one as well so hit u two times to reveal all the properties go into the drop shadow and set the noise to three percent pretty nice let's copy this so hit ctrl c ctrl v for this one i will be going with a nice yellow color all right i can go into the layer styles or basically select the layer styles ctrl c ctrl v hit u two times to reveal the properties and pick with the same yellow color same thing here i will be copy pasting the layer style hit ctrl v and then copy paste the fill ctrl c ctrl v for this one i will be going with a nice dark pink and hit u again two times and pick with the same color boom there we go so our background is ready which is looking very very nice i can select my text tool and type in my text so for the font i will be going with one of my favorite integral bold and bring down the size let's type in my text you can of course type in any text that you want i'm gonna type in creative there we go i'll align this into the center maybe just this a bit and for the color i will be going with a kind of a darker purplish color something like this maybe a bit desaturated one yeah that looks much better so let's go ahead and animate our text so i'll go to around one second let's go ahead and add a position and let's go add and property of opacity bring down the position to around 100 set the opacity to zero go into the range selector and let's animate the offset so i'll set this all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 go into advanced properties set this to ramp up and bring up the ease high and ease low all the way up to 100 so we get this really nice animation as you can see and then what i'm going to do is add one more animator of tracking so we can animate this as well so i'll set this to somewhere on 13 create a keyframe go to around two seconds and set this to zero so i can select the keyframes and apply the same animation from the keyframe wingman and boom so i want this to animate actually with the shapes so what i'll do is move this keyframe to around two second and 30 frames let's see what we get yep that is what i am going for looking pretty good and now to add a little accent into the background because right now our background is pretty uh, flat for the color so what i'll do is select this or select the text tool actually and type in the text again creative this time i'm going to keep this one pure white and pull this above our background layer increase the size and change the font to champion gothic hdf banta weight i'll align this into the center let's increase the size all the way up that is looking pretty good and simply animate the opacity of this so i'll select this hit t create a key create a keyframe on the opacity go back and set this to zero select this hit f9 and basically there we have it and there we have created this cool big title animation 
and boom our title animation is ready so this is how you can create some nice huge title or big title animation inside of after effects which are super popular and you can see this kind of animations a lot on envato elements and if you have the subscription you can download them you can download unlimited so make sure you check out envato elements again the link is in the description below so that is a wrap guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure you hit that like button and comment down below and if you're watching my video for the very first time then make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video with that said i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out